Only five missions had been launched, all by the Russians, and just two of those were deemed a success. For all the effort, AstroSpies had managed just 81 days in orbit. In the end, it came down to a competition of man against machine, and machine won. I absolutely think it was a premature decision to close down the program. They insist the space station without the pilots are more efficient. I would insist that is wrong. I thought it was a good program. I think we could have done something really worthwhile. It was aborted prematurely as far as we were concerned. I think it was positive. I think, I'd like to think, and I, and I believe I'm correct, that we had a positive influence on the way things would be going in the future. Two months before the last Russian cosmonaut left the Almaz, America's National Reconnaissance Office successfully launched its first KH-11 unmanned spy satellite. Said to be capable of capturing images with three-inch resolution, but using video sensors instead of film, this was the digital age of espionage. This was what had rendered America's astrospies obsolete before they ever flew. Thirty years later, dozens of unmanned satellites silently monitor the world below. They are also the AstroSpy's legacy. When I look back at what we did on Mo, we didn't, as far as I know, develop something that has led to another manned system. I think that the work we did uh, help provide data for future systems. Just yesterday, I went to the Google search engine and I could actually see my own house. 30 years ago, who would have thought I would be able to see something like that? On NOVA's AstroSpies website, hear from the astronauts of the MOLE program, see spy photos that made history, and more. Find it on pbs.org. To order this show or any other NOVA program for $19.95 plus shipping and handling, call WGBH Boston Video at 1-800-255-9424.